Welcome back to Cave Story, everybody! Or should I say Cave Story Plus? It's better. So, we have to explore more of the bushlands. So, my Polar Star is pretty bad in this area, but we got a new gun, the Fireball. It shoots shots that bounce on the ground, and it's a lot more powerful than the Polar Star is. As you can see, instead of dealing 1 damage per level 1 shot, it deals 3 damage per level 1 shot. And it only gets better as you level it up, so we'll be using that, especially since most of the enemies in the bushlands start on the ground. You still have to be careful. Yeah, so at level 2, you'll notice the fireballs now look a bit more intimidating, and they deal a lot more damage. Oh boy. Gotta get that big EXP. And now at level 3, it's blue fireballs. They're amazing. Might as well level up our Polar Star again. But yeah, you can see just how good that Fireball is. While those enemies nearly killed me with the Polar Star, with the Fireball, I was able to kill them before they could even lay a hit on me. Oh yeah. Okay, so I can't get them that way. You'd think I would have known this since I played this game, well, very, very recently. Okay, yeah! It is worth getting in the, all these life capsules. And we get plus 5 HP this time. Hooray! Okay. This is where things get risky! This is where this introduces that gimmick that I hate. See how those EXP just fell right into that pit? Yeah, that's not even solid ground. You will walk right through that and die. Thanks, Cave Story. Why do the bats have so much HP? Also, yeah, the bats instant kill you on hard mode. It's Choco's house. Hi, how may I help you? Wow, that thing you have there looks quite dangerous. Yeah, I did just walk into a random uh, girl's house with a gun pointed right at her, and she's just like, Oh, that looks kind of dangerous. I wonder, are you a traveler? If someone walked into my house with a gun outstretched, I would not have that reaction. I don't know, really know how I would react, if I would fight or run or hide, but uh, I would not have had that reaction. You see a hole on the other side of the billowing flames. You can't get past the fire. You want to go for my fireplace? For that, you're going to need to get a bit of jellyfish juice. The big jelly has it. Also, a little Easter egg here. If you sleep in her bed... Life restored. She's now in the bed. And also, if we open our inventory... We have her rouge. Red lipstick from Chaco. It has no use. I'm not, I'm not sleeping in the same bed as her. That's weird. But she doesn't seem to think it's weird. And now you'll notice there are jellyfish around the bushlands. That only happens once you talk to Chaco about the fireplace. Eradicate all life on this planet. <laughs> That's the point of the game, right? To kill all the living organisms? Oh, wait, no, that's Super Metroid. Actually, no, that's Metroid 2. Super Metroid, you're protecting the last Metroid. I, I should finish Super Metroid sometime. I'm a decent ways through it. I beat Kraid, I know. I can't really remember where I am, though. I totally missed the big Joey that we need to get. So you notice there's a giant jellyfish up there? Oh yeah, alright. Open the chest that the big jelly dropped, and we get jellyfish juice! This lets us put out fires in fireplaces. However, it's a one-time use, so you'll remember there's one in Santa's house, and then one way back in Mamega Village. We're gonna get the one in Mamega Village first. Trust me, it's worth getting that one.
There are lots of, like, extra secrets in this game that, like, if you find them, will really help out. This is one of them. Doesn't help out, like, a ton, but I mean... You'll, you'll see in a few seconds. Do you want to use the jellyfish juice? Yes, I do. There's something buried within the ashes. We get the bubble line! This is the fourth gun of the game. Admittedly, the bubble line looks pretty awful. But, if you can get it to level 3, it actually has some very interesting uses. You also see uh, there's a 100 out of 100 up there. This kind of has limited ammo like the uh, missile launcher, except once you stop shooting, it'll automatically refill. So, the bubble line, when it's level 1, is atrocious. It, I think, deals 1 damage and has almost no range. Once it's level 2, it's, like, a little bit better, but once it's level 3, it actually can be very useful and can really save your butt in a few places. So, it is worth getting. Well, time to level it up! Yeah, it only deals 1 damage. Now at level 2, if we hold down the button, we'll actually start ra firing a rapid stream of bubbles that can move in a ton of directions, and it starts refilling a lot faster as well. So now it's actually like a viable option for actually killing things. It's still not great though, but you can see it has potential, and it's only at level 2. I will say the bubble line is always going to be one of the weakest guns in the game, but it's still useful. And this will put it at level 3, so now if we hold down the button, we get this nice little shield of bubbles that starts automatically firing at enemies, and we can command which direction that they shoot in, which is awesome. And then if we release the button, they all flee in whatever direction you're holding. So if you're going against a lot of really weak enemies, the bubble line will just absolutely shred them. Now if you'll excuse me, we need another jellyfish juice to go to Santa's house. Ow. That stupid big jelly leveled down my bubble mine. There, take that. More jellyfish juice. Alright, going to Santa's house. Ho ho ho, mistletoe, Merry Christmas, Santa Claus. That is from No Psalm in particular. Use the jellyfish juice, yes! Something within the ashes, we get Santa's coal. We will need that in a bit. Also, I'm gonna refill on life and save. Those big guys make me nervous. Alright. Cool, bubble line's max level. We will need another jellyfish juice for Chaco's house, though. Stupid giant blue guys. Level 3 Polar Star is pretty good. Especially for the beginning of the game. Although, quickly, once we get to much tougher enemies later on in the game, we'll not be using this so much. Gimme, 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 gimme the jellyfish juice. Out of my way! Deadly video game protagonist coming through. Don't try to knock me into that pit. Thank goodness for invincibility frames. Hi, Chaco. Miss me? Probably not. And we use the jellyfish juice on this fire, and... We go to the other side, and she immediately lights a new one, so we can't go back. We can jump down there, but then we'll have to get another large jelly if we want to come through here. Well, that's just not very nice. 
I shall respond by killing literally all of your same species. These enemies are rather interesting, because if you shoot them, they shoot you. So be on the guard. And just in case, if there's ever a pit beneath what looks like solid ground, it's not solid ground. I'm just going to say that right now. Also, there's a room we can enter down here. We should do that. It's locked. Power supply room, though. And now, we oh, that's right, the frog enemies. And this door won't open either. Oh, hey, little crack here. There's someone in that crevice. Hey, you, boy! I need to get out of here. Would you, um, please help me? Sure. Thanks! Please take this. We get the rusty key. It was left in this room. Go ahead and use it if you can. There's no keyhole on the door. It seems to be rusted. Huh? What do you mean? It's not the right key for that door? Well, that's upsetting. If there's no keyhole, we'll need to break it down. There has to be a better way. Is it some kind of bike? Apparently someone took a bike here. Hmm. Well, let's try this key on that door we had back here. Well, it worked. It's a robot. Looks like it's not powered on. Fan power supply off. Malco power supply offline. Turn power on? Yeah. Power's on. Uh-oh. Intruder sighted! Terminate immediately! Oh yeah! Did you know the mimic I found, I, I found wasn't Sue? Yeah. Yep! She wasn't Sue! Because of that, the doctor was extremely upset. Misery received quite the beatdown. Pity since she's just a girl. Why are you smiling about that? Well, the master can't be disobeyed, so that's our fate. This time, I'm here to break you for real. Better prepare yourself! So, second fight against Balrog. He might even be easier than last time, because he's much more predictable. He flies through the air with the greatest of ease. He's the Daring Yun flying toaster on the flying trapeze. He shoots stuff at you. True. But he's still predictable. WHAT ARE YOU?! We defeated Balrog again. Ah, oh, that's sad. The head's been crushed in. Its body is jammed into the floor. Do you want to pull its body out? Yes. Th thank you. You are a good person. And on top of that, so strong. Thank you for saving me. I would like to do something for you to express my gratitude. But with that said, I'm only capable of making bombs. You want to open the rusty door? What? Someone is trapped inside? You definitely are a good person. I understand. Let us make a bomb then. We will demolish that door. Please locate the following materials for the bomb. Charcoal, jellyfish juice, and gum base. Let us make the bomb once all the materials have been amassed. So we've got the charcoal. We needed that. We need jellyfish juice, which we actually can get over here now because the fans are turned on. And then something called gum base. We'll get the gum base later in the bushlands, but yeah. If we're on a fan, if we hold the jump button, we'll just go super high. So I'll get the jellyfish juice first. Man, this episode's pretty much just been like, Artie runs around bushlands picking up the same item over and over again. Such is life. Eat that. Aw, oh, that did not kill nearly as many bats as I had hoped. Even if that's not practical, man, that's awesome. Yeah, now that that fan's powered on, we can actually take a shortcut in there that does not require jellyfish juice. Alright, time to use the fireball. Fireball's just so awesome. And I can't believe Santa Claus had it. I know what I want for Christmas! Not really. My Christmas list this, weird, this year is weird. 
I've got like, oh yeah, I've got like video games, I've got like Nintendo eShop cards, I've got some books, but then I've also got like home improvement supplies, like I'm asking for like dishes and pots and a ladle, because I'll be doing cooking next semester at college, because I'm kind of getting sick of the college food. I totally miss the giant jellyfish. Great. I'll make that big jelly come down. Give me that. And we got the jellyfish juice. Well, the enemies should not be respawning because we slaughtered literally every single one of them on the way. Except those guys, but they won't bother us. I love Cave Story and how the enemies don't respawn immediately. Let's go in here. Oh, that's it? I thought there would be more in here. Because I'm used to making like half hour videos, or, or like 40 minute videos, I'm not used to making the uh, 15 minute ones. It's hard for me to gauge how much time has passed. Like, I bet I'm already past 15 minutes by now, but it doesn't feel like it to me. Probably comes with this game is very easy to play in large bursts, especially if you've already played it before. Ah, uh, hi. Is there anything up here that I need? No, there is not. That's disappointing. Well, there's a chest over here. And it gives us a missile expansion. Now we can carry 15 missiles. What? Use a bomb on the door? I guess that's a possibility. So you're looking for the materials? Did you say gum base? Wait a sec. Take this. We get the gum key. It was hanging on the wall. The word gum was written on it. I'm sure it must be related somehow. I'm counting on you, boy. Don't call me boy. Actually, I, I do look like a boy, I guess. I am a man. Actually, I should go in here. It's the execution chamber. How friendly. So... To get that HP thing, what we want to do is shoot that. Get out of the way, because that thing's instant death. Kill it. No, I screwed this up. Shoot that. This thing falls. We jump on its head. Jump up here. Kill this one. Then shoot that. And bada beam bada boom, we get a life capsule again. And we get plus 5 HP. So now we've got a lot of HP, actually, considering we started the game with 3. All right. Well, leap. No, no, that's really bad. Oh, actually, no, it's not. Because I saved in here. Excellent. Ho, oh, ho. This is why you save often, ladies and gentlemen. Because just a single dropped jump will result in instant death. And then, if you didn't save recently, you are just completely out of luck. Well, got to get that missile expansion again. Gotta talk to Kazuma again. And the, the annoying thing is, literally, I was like two seconds away from a new save point. Gotta watch this again. Goodbye. Alright. Execution chamber again. I thought there was a save in here, but no. All right, 23 HP is a weird number, but hey, we're almost halfway to max HP. I like how they put a lot of those at the very beginning of the game. Hi. Okay, well, that was just plain stupid on my part. 
Alright, let's try this again! Leap for glory! Yay! So let me tell you something. If you hold down the jump button while being propelled by a fan, you'll go even higher. I kind of already knew that, dude. How would I get it gotten this far without knowing that? But that's going to leave it off for this episode. Thanks for watching. I'm Color Forty, and if you tune in next time, we will be fighting a boss almost immediately. Have a great day, and God bless. And I never even realized that those little blocks look like owls.